It's one of the best, yeah, definitely. We've had spells against Liverpool, spells against Chelsea, Leicester, of course. But to the first 40 minutes were excellent today. But the reaction after they scored as well, I felt, was good. Start of second half, so that's it's always a concern because so many times we've this season been winning, gone into a draw and then stayed at a draw. But they never gave in, trusted themselves, and I think we deserve to win. Best performances have come against, as you say, Chelsea, Leicester, Liverpool. What's the reason behind the fact that you're so performing uh, against the best teams? Uh, there's many, many different reasons for uh, for uh, how a game goes, but um, we've uh, we've had players enjoying themselves tonight. That's definitely uh, it's players taking people on. Uh, sometimes it feels like maybe it's been we haven't been good enough. We have to say we haven't haven't been good enough breaking teams down when we've had 70, 75 percent possession, but. Uh, Today was about 50-50, I don't know, uh, but we had most of the ball first half. I thought some of the build-up play and the, the penetration we, we showed was excellent. How do you make sure you build on this now and don't fall back like you have done on previous occasions this season? Because you set a high standard and look far too high with this, this performance. Yeah, there's no better game, is there, that the next one? And uh, you got a, a fantastic Man City team we're playing against, the Derby, so the boys will be up for that one. Um, can you talk us through Marcus Rashford? Because people have criticised him a bit, but he's been asked to take on quite a lot of responsibilities. <coughs> the boy is 22, and today he played like he was in the in the backyard or in the garden, and he's in the in the playground with the mates. He just enjoyed himself. Sometimes, maybe maybe some uh, of the expectations and pressure on him because. Uh, we do expect a lot from him because he, he's showed it so many times. But today, just we, we want them to enjoy themselves. We want them to go out there, like when he's facing players, taking them on, uh, no fear of losing it. I love to watch that, and then that's what the Stratford End loves to watch. Uh, Man United fans love to see wingers or forwards play with courage. You know, you said no players are dropped, but Tommy seems to have a huge. <laughs> yeah. We can almost say he's un undroppable at the moment, definitely. we uh, There was no chance. I wasn't going to try to push him through for this game because uh, Scott's... The physical presence he gives us, the leadership he gives us um, in midfield there uh, also releases Fred because, of course, um, I thought Fred was excellent today uh, and maybe the one chance they had, he blocked. Uh, that was... Uh, no, Fred was, uh, was top class because they're a good partnership. He trained yesterday, and that was just a light session with the with the reserves. So, uh, but he's a tough uh, boy. He's, there's no chance he's he's gonna say no thanks if he's if he felt okay. So, uh, that's probably the first time I've really really pushed on players that have hasn't had the the foundation. But he's, he's so fit anyway. Fantastic, fantastic, very happy with him. Uh, he played his role uh, almost to perfection. Uh, of course, he could have could have got the goal. Uh, good save by the keeper again. He played well, by the way. And um, no, Mason will grow from this. He's he's had a few tastes of Carabao Cup, Europa League, and this is the first big game he's played. And he's, uh, as you say, he's only 18. He could have played in the Youth Cup instead on Friday. With Marcus, do you feel that? That, that was an example of a player really taking a game by the scruff of his neck and just determined to sort of stamp his authority. Yeah, he, you can uh, like define players by waiting for things to happen or expecting things to happen or making things happen. And he made things happen by his movement, by his decision making, being direct, positive, and we want, and that's it's great to see. And uh, uh, he can go inside, outside, so. Very happy with his how he matures, and because he plays so many games as well, so we can't expect him to be running like this every time. I know the fans would want him to, and we want him to, but the, it's natural that he sometimes can't have this level because this was a top top performance. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned twenty nine, twenty five weeks ago. Yeah. People sometimes just forget how 
young, he still is actually. But that's a good thing now that he's young because he'll recover for Saturday. All the young boys will recover quickly, so that's a, that's a good thing when when they've got 24 hours extra uh, recovery. Tottenham had that, the same 24 hours extra recovery, and uh, I'm happy I've got a young team and not a, not an old one. So uh, we'll be ready for Saturday. What would you see in um, in Scott yeah, when you came here in the summer to make you think that you could? rely on him as your main central midfielder this season because that, that's a brave call for a player no, the, fir the first game he more or, more or less the first game the first big game uh, he played for me was Liverpool last year and he was absolutely top class and you, uh, you, you didn't expect anything else because you see a boy doing everything right every single day in training and he prepares properly and uh, they're the boys you want to have in the team well, you said a couple of times about the players enjoying themselves is that the key to getting the best out of these players, allowing them to express themselves and not cross their minds at all? That, make it simple, and yeah, that's. But that's what I'm. I've been brought up here. Every every before every game, the gaffer said, "Express yourselves." You can you can say that in different different ways. Today they did within the framework that we've set set out to to play. I thought Jesse and Mason made it harder for their centre backs. I thought that was great to see as well. So. Um, not oh, very pleased. Sorry, this chat here has been waiting to ask this a question. <laughs> it, it was Hi. quite an attacking Spurs lineup. Did yep. that surprise you? Did that cleanse your hands a little bit? No, we've we uh, we had prepared for. Uh, we'd seen Joseph's games, of course, and uh, maybe Odier didn't go as much as he normally would have done. Uh, Fertongen maybe went a little bit more than he has done in the first few games. But towards the end, they went to uh, to the same mode that they've been in the in the first few games. So, but they've got a very good squad, and we knew there's different options for them. So, uh, but I don't think it's. I, I think we played well, and that's how it uh, played into our hands, not their tactics. John, on Fred, he's had a lot of people questioning him. He's had you know some tough games that haven't gone his way. Has it just been a case of him needing time to settle in or has there been a lot of work and how, how has he handled that sort of disappointing form? It's been a lot of work. The boy works hard. The boy uh, but he's creating a relationship with Scott which is uh, proving very good for us. And any, I know more than anyone probably that it's hard to play one game and be out for three and play one game and out for three. Now he's been consistent. Same with Scott too, that he's been, they've been consistently picked. And that gives you confidence. Um, Martial, you said he might be out for a little while. Yeah. What does that a little while? How how long is a piece of rope? Well, is that, <laughs> is that, have you got a chance of being fit for Saturday? I don't know. No, I don't know. It's uh, uh, not sure. Sorry. Of course, of course, you you want to um, to have your first eleven, or you want to pick your best players all the time, and I've been able to do that once, and that was the Chelsea game. More or less, I think. Maybe Wolverhampton, yeah. Maybe Wolves. And but the, it's a squad game, and that's the thing. That so the subs are so vital. And but with the injuries we've had, has made it hard for us to have a made too many impact subs. But I thought uh, uh, Mason came on, did fantastic. Jesse is looking like his uh, his best again. I thought Ashley really uh, showed his experience and was is important for us. So the subs were, or the, the ones that haven't played, uh, did really well. Okay, last question here. Please. There was a question up there as well. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, back in the days, uh, Mourinho named uh, McTominay his play of the year, and yeah. people kind of laughed at this, but yeah. now he's <coughs> kind of undroppable for you as well. I mean, what, what is it in this character that uh, makes <coughs> him so special? No, it's just, uh, the uh, he's so professional. Uh, he's not tainted by any superstar or fame or he's just he wants to become the best footballer he can be and that's the people I want in this club and that's uh, that's he would have suited my my squad when I played he would have fit right in in that squad because he's come through the academy more more players but uh, since you're asking about Scotty now he's one of the he's one of ours he's one of the locals and he knows what Man United means last question some people have questioned Victor lately. Uh, what did you think about his performance? Victor Lindelof. I thought he, I think he's been uh, proving 
Critics wrong. I think cr you'll always have critics at Man United. <coughs> what, if you scored two, you should have scored three. If you win three nil, you should have been won winning four nil. And Victor is, is so calm and composed on the ball, and that's part of our play with him and Harry, that they're so they're important for us in the build up that we take some risks. Maybe the goal we conceded could have been avoided. That pass into Scotty that got nicked. But Victor scored a goal last week. is is becoming a, a leader in the group and is um, is playing more or less every single game. So I'm I'm very pleased with him. Okay, guys.